Hello, in this video I want to show you how we can track changes in documents. I've got a, a document here that I've produced and I want to send this out to my team. I'm going to put it onto Dropbox. It could be OneDrive or a server. And then I want to pick this up a bit later and have a look at any suggested changes or alterations that have been made. And then I want to either accept those changes or reject them. So what you need to do, first of all, is come up to the review tab at the top. And over here, we've got the tracking group. So the first thing to do is actually drop this button down. So click the bottom half of the track changes and you see that you've got two choices here. The first one is that you would just want to click track changes. Okay, and now the button, the whole button has sort of gone gray. So now that will track any changes. But what I don't want to do is allow the other users to turn off the track changes. So if you click the bottom half of that button again and click lock tracking and then put a password in, make sure you don't forget this password or you won't be able to unlock it. Click OK and now the track changes button is greyed out and also this accept and reject is greyed out. I'm now going to save this and then I'll pick it up on another computer, make a few changes and then we'll pick it up again here. Okay, so let's go and save this. Okay, so I've made a few changes on another PC on Dropbox. So this is updated. So let's just open this one. And now we can see the changes that I've made on the other PC. Now you've got a few views here that we can look at. Let's just go back to review. We've got all markup. And if we change that to simple markup, that just leaves these red lines on the left hand side. So you can see where changes have been made. You could just go and click any one of these lines and then you'll see all the changes over on the right that have been made. The one that we clicked has got a solid red line. Other ones have got dotted lines. And if they're changes that are not mentioned over on the right, you'll see that they're in red and underlined. Now what we want to do, because we might want to accept or reject these, you need to go back to track changes and lock tracking and then put the password in that you locked it with, click OK and that unlocks it. Now at the top we've got show markup and if you just click that this gives you the various markups. So if you've got several people that have made changes you'll see a tick next to their name and you can actually remove that tick and remove changes that certain people have made. Obviously I've only made, I'm the only person that's made changes here so I need to make sure my tick is next to my name. Up here we've got review pane, if you click that you've got a review pane on the left hand side, you can change the size of that if you need to and you can see the various changes that have been made. So you can see that I've formatted font to bold, I've inserted an S, I've deleted an S, I've inserted some text here and then insert it and so on. You can actually see the sequence. Now this is on the left hand side but if you prefer this pane to be down the bottom, if you click the little arrow and click review pane horizontal that puts it down the bottom. I personally don't like it down here. I prefer it over on the left hand side, but that's just personal choice. Okay, so we can see 10 revisions have been made over on this left hand side, and we can see what changes have been made over on the right. So now what we need to do is go through and accept or reject. But before we do, up the top here, we've got original, and if you just click that, you can actually see the original document that you created before you let others start to make changes. We now want to accept or reject. So let's go back to all markup. So we can see all the markups. 
and that first one has been the word video has been made bold I'm going to accept that that removes that comment over from the right hand side now let's read this you can also type a keyword to sort search online for the videos I don't particularly like that so I'm going to reject that one and reject the next one so now this takes us down to this extra piece of text that's been put in I'm going to accept that and now you see that the red and the underline goes and this next one we've got Microsoft the word Microsoft has been added so we I'm going to accept that and we've got the word up has been deleted see it's got a red line through it and it's red let's just read it Microsoft Word with new buttons that show up where you need it now I'm going I'm going to reject that change I want to keep the word up and here we've got font has been changed to Arial and bold reading is easier too in the new reading view we'll accept that one the next one the font has been changed to Arial I'm going to reject that there's no point in having different font and this has been changed to Arial and red so I'm going to accept that and the next one the font's been changed to Arial I'm going to reject that then it comes up there aren't any more comments or track changes in the document click OK there's all those changes either accepted or rejected you can choose to keep tracking on if there's going to be further changes but if not you can actually click this one here that says track changes and that turns off your tracking tracking is as simple as that um, and it's a great way to collaborate over one document so that you can actually look at suggested changes and improvements to the document and then you can accept or reject them if you like this video please click the thumbs up and that bell if you don't want to miss any and don't forget to subscribe and you won't miss any future videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.